Hey YouTube, this is Ben Gessel, just at the corner of uh, 125th and Lake City Way, 10.15 it in the evening, and just heading home from a orchestra rehearsal, uh, Fly a Symphony. Uh, one of these days we'll have to, I don't know, record a, a bit of a, uh, our uh, rehearsal or something, you guys, I don't know. Anyway, uh, it might not be kosher. So, uh, if you can see, kind of, yes, I know, I'm keeping an eye out for cops and things, too, because I'm technically not supposed to be doing this, or whatever. Uh, anyway, I had a few thoughts here as I'm driving home. So... You know, I've been on YouTube for several years, quite a while, and, you know, I've done, it's really, it's really a great thing, it really is, I mean, it's, it's by far my favorite social media thing, I, I don't think it's, there's really any point to having anything else, moving in, again, you can have, like, a Facebook page if you want to, but it's not really, it's not really a big thing, YouTube is a big thing, so, you know, we all know that YouTube commenters are often really trashy and stuff. The scum of the earth. So, you know, I've had to deal with... You know, one guy, for instance, recently. It's something as simple as this. If you... If you, uh... Make a comment on a... Channel about martial arts or... Uh, gangs in this case um, whether or not you're a gangbanger whatever that means you know, if you're a, a hood <laughs> whether or not you're actually a thug in real life or not or whether or not you're a really big tough guy really lean or whatever it is whatever you think is tough whatever makes you tough or not or less so I don't know, everybody thinks that you have to be Rambo to talk about this stuff. Or, you know, look at Snoop Dogg. He's tall, but Snoop has never been a muscle guy. He's never been a muscle guy. I'm not saying he's a wimp. I, I know Snoop Dogg is not a wimp. I know he's got his nine. He's got his homies in L.A. And it's not like a white guy talking to him. What I'm trying to say is, I don't disrespect Snoop Dogg, so to speak. You know, I mean, in that respect, I. And I'm what I'm trying to say is, you know, I don't expect all gangbangers or all guys that think they're tough. One second here. Sorry, one second. That was a close call. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I mean, I don't expect... Uh, I don't expect... People to be... Um, sorry, I'm going to have to uh, look at my steering wheel here for a bit. I do apologize. But you're going to have to... Uh, you know... I think people just on YouTube are really um, kind of full of themselves sometimes, and they don't know how big or tough and other anybody else is on YouTube. They really have no idea. They try to look at other someone else's videos and get an idea of what someone's like, and they often fall miserably short of what that is. We all know this stuff. This is nothing. This is nothing new. Um, you know, but the thing is, is that, you know, regardless of how big or tough or strong or fast or physically capable you are in real life, because you can always get tougher, regardless of any of that, you know, you can, everybody's entitled to their opinion about stuff on YouTube. You don't have to be 
the martial artist to talk about martial arts. You might be taken more seriously at times, maybe depending on, you know, whatever. But nobody should just say, the heck with you, your opinion doesn't matter at all. You know. Anyway. Sorry folks, I'm still kind of trying to keep an eye out here for something. Um, anyway. <laughs> I'm so daring. Um, I just think it's just kind of stupid. When you have someone that comes along and just thinks that they're big and tough, and chances are probably not that tough. If you were a really tough guy, a really big guy, and you really thought you could take someone in real life, or whatever, just maybe you could, but you have no idea what's going on with someone else. You know, you just don't know. You just, people don't have a clue. Um, you just don't know. <laughs> you just don't know. And more importantly, even if you think you can take someone out in real life, it, real life is real life where you're actually, that's actually like illegal to try to hurt someone. So people don't really think this through all the time. You know, it's like they don't realize that, you know, they're talking about, oh, hey, what I'm talking about is something like, called assault and battery <laughs> threatening somebody you can always spar with someone you know if it's you know you can always there's always things that that show that you just are more interested in martial arts and not wanting to hurt someone in real life but you know i mean i've seen never back down and i you know it's kind of a little bit cheesy at the times in that movie okay i think we're in the clear um anyway maybe but uh all these lights and things you always have that situation where someone says, "Oh yeah, we're just gonna spar. We're just gonna, we're just gonna work out." And then it's so rare, but I mean, it could happen. You could have somebody try to hurt somebody instead of just spar with them. I know that could happen. I just, you know, for every situation in real life that involves a real life gang, that's real gang members that actually beat someone up, not just. You know, toy with them with knives or guns. It actually hurt someone because there are people that are, you know, capable of killing someone. I realize that, but they're not really very. They're not really very numerous compared to the wannabe gang members that just say that they follow the guy that's the felon or something. So, um, yeah, I, I just I get I just get a kick out of these guys. I mean, vast majority of YouTube guys, I think they're so tough. If you really want to spar with me, I'm okay with that. Granted that you're probably similar to my size and skill level. And if you still, you're like, rah, 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 then I think you do have a problem. And then maybe, maybe sparring isn't a good idea simply for your legal sake, you know, for to try to keep you out of jail. <laughs> I'll put it that way. I'll put it that way. Nobody wants, no, but no, 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 no. You don't want to go to jail. Nobody wants to go to jail. No, 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 no. It's not like that. So you, you know, it's not like, again, I'm just, it's just, this is interesting. And I'm not just saying it's young guys. I'm sure there's probably a few women out there that are into this, but I'm just going to pick on guys here because guys are obviously the target here in this regard. I think sparring is fine. Again, as long as you got pads or as long as you got similar guys of similar strength and skill and size and you know, nobody's going to get hurt. And at least as adults, you want to kind of take it easy. <laughs> you know? But, you know, anyway. Um, I'm almost in the clear here, folks. Boy, I'm just so risky. I know, in this regard. So, Okay. That was my daring thing for the day. So, um, you know, I'm probably going to get some more of these idiotic dumb comments uh, from idiotic dumb punks that are just wanting to vent some steam and I'm the closest target. 
Yeah, that's what it comes down to. I might do another video here in a bit, folks. Meanwhile, you've been hearing classical music while I've been talking about fighting and gangs. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so... I escaped the cops. You see, I'm a thug. I'm a thug life. I just drove right by a cop and had my phone up and he was, I was talking and didn't even, didn't even pull me over. <sighs> thug life. <laughs> I just don't take a lot of folks seriously. I just don't. If you show me, a, you know, your, your ripped bod and that obviously you're a big guy and you mean business... Look, every single person that I've ever talked to on YouTube that's even like that remotely, they don't bother with all this argument crap. They just they just don't argue. I think that they'd rather work out. They'd rather beat their fists in a you know a punching bag for hours on end. Because when you when you I don't know if you see a comment on YouTube that you don't agree with, you can disagree with it. But, you know, what do you think is going to happen if you act like an idiot trying to mess with someone? Well, they're going to mess with you back or they're going to ignore you. You know, anybody who's over the age of 12 should understand that. So, you know, I just, that's for a lot of things. I'm, you know, maybe, you know, it all depends on how angry you are. Uh, but, you know, being angry can make you not act your age, of course. But So... <laughs> Yeah, that's my little semi-rant for tonight. Um, I'll make another video here tonight explain some other things that are going on. I'll catch you guys later. Oh, I should, for record, I should mention, though, maybe my the, the, the gangs that I'm most afraid of and the martial arts that I think are the most legit. <laughs> it's because this is part of the part of the train of thought here. So I take MS-13 or um, Salvatrucha or whatever, and Hell's Angels. Both those gangs are in my my no no mess with list because the mafia just wants you to do favors for them, and they try to take over your life, and that's pretty easily dealt with. They don't try to scam you. Uh, anyway, so more in here in a bit. I'll talk to you later, folks. Bye.